fuel burn. Do 
it's a dick and a pig leg Best friend is a Jew Yeah, a Jew with a pussy Make some noise for us real quick. Oh yeah. And a lot of non-responsive women. What's up, ladies? Yeah. That's hot right there. So this next song right here, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people don't talk about this enough. I think uh, something needs to be addressed. This song is 100% for you ladies, okay? But guys, maybe take some notes, learn something, okay? Here we go. Yes. 
Uh, life is good though. We're excited to be here. We fuck. We've been to this city so many times doing stand-up. I truly can't believe it, it was weird during sound check. We're like, are we sure this is the first Kill Tony here? But it sure as fuck is. Yeah. This bucket is absolutely filled Crazy. with gullets with names. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited. Should we just keep it moving? We have a lot more Kill Tonys on the road coming up. Uh, San Francisco, Vegas, uh, May 11th. A lot of fun things. So. That's all out there, TonyHinchcliffe.com, DeathSquad.tv. We're streaming right now on Periscope. That's the uh, power of Phoenix's Wi-Fi. Yeah, We're that's what I'm uh, doing. <laughs> got nice Great Periscope way. action going on somewhere. Turns out a lot of people over there at a Copperhead Blues. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chipotle over here, the Starbucks, everybody's sucking up the Wi-Fi, so. We're on Periscope. Not enough me. water, right? <laughs> Whatever it is. But uh, I don't know, should we just bring out tonight's guest? You know, normally, when we have the band out here uh, with us, we don't even bring a guest, but you guys are in for such a special treat, because this guest, if, how many of you are real fans of this show? <laughs> and I think you're gonna love this. He's one of our favorite guests, one of the most used guests in the history of the show. Uh, you know him from Doug Loves Movies, Getting Doug With High, Super High. Woo! It's Hi, the one, one, the only Doug Benson! <laughs> There's good weed in Arizona, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> There's good weed. You, you, for, you know it's good weed when you, for, you forget what, what state you're in for a second. <laughs> oh, I know weed. what state I'm in. <laughs> We're off and running. I'm excited about this. We have the band here tonight, so should we just bring them yeah, up? You guys already got a little sneak peek. Here. You know them. You love them. It's Patty Reagan. Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg. Joel Jimenez, it's the Kill Tonys! drinks here in Phoenix. They did not want their drinks knocked over by a fluorescent saxophone. But the saxophones were awesome. It almost seems like the type of thing that would be available uh, after the show from the band, right? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. It's Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! No characters tonight, guys? You're the Kill Tony band. That's good Woo! enough. Like a Poco Pocahontas with leukemia. <laughs> Fucking Poco joke. You're right, the weed in Arizona is good. Poco, Poco, Poco. You got that drug line coming, you know, that drug line coming right up from Mexico. That's good shit, right? <laughs> One of the fun things about doing a Kill Tony's on the road is we get to see, you know, you guys listen to the show and we're all there every week and we get to see so many people that made it out to LA to, you know, chase their dreams and things like that. And uh well, what's cool about these Kill Tonys that we do on the road is that we get to meet people that are still wherever the fuck they are. So usually it's always more interesting, compelling characters, because you get to find out why they are uh, still in Phoenix. They're not actors. Yeah, what right? keeps them here in the valley? Yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty fucking excited about this. Because this bucket's filled with names. If I pull your name out of the bucket, if you signed up with a chance to do 60 seconds of uh, stand-up earlier, just to let you know, you get 60 seconds of stage time. You know your time's up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or we're sure gonna bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> Just let you guys know, the stairway is right here, so it's right there. In so if you're two. coming from over there, you just gotta fucking prices right this shit. You know what I mean? Just make it happen. Uh, and that's 
that's about it. Should we fucking start this party or what? Yeah. It's a crazy bucket of names. Looks like The Undertaker's earned too. It's WrestleMania weekend. Who's excited about that? All right, I pulled, a, I pulled a name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Dustin Hadlock. things you know it just gives you character I'm like yeah every character this character that Steve Buscemi's ever played am I right oh all right first one up here we go you know you know I've actually had uh, girls tell me in the past that I look like Leonardo DiCaprio yeah when he was in what's eating Gilbert grape so uh, <laughs> fuck yes thank you guys so much for laughing holy shit Last time I was here, I did an anti-flag reference. It didn't go well at all. All the comedians over there still oh, okay. You know, like okay. There you go, Dustin. Am I loud enough out there? Does it seem like crisp and loud and extremely clear? It feels so quiet up here. But all right. Turn it up, right? Yes, okay. Everybody just turn the volume up. Price is Right was fucking bumping, man. It sounded great. That's what I want to sound like. Blah, 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 blah. More power, power. You're loud enough. I am? I think yes, so. you're way too loud think, somehow. I think you sound pretty good, Tony. Doug, you sound great. There you go. I sound good. Yeah. Thank you. Can All right. Can Red Man do his Dustin, bike? step back up three more steps up there. I like you up there. Solid six seconds. Right up there. I don't want you behind me like that. So much happened there, Dustin. Uh, you had like three silent meltdowns at different points. Am I right? Yeah. At one point, you, you just said something about the comedians, but like you didn't want to go there or something like that. It seems like. I had a minute. I had a minute. You're, you're, I have a short amount of time. Yeah, yeah, how long you Oh, had? yeah. You get all those jokes in that you can. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with your 15 second silent segues that you're working on. Jobert. Yeah, you referenced a joke that you did last time that didn't work, yeah. also. <laughs> That's a fun segue, just standing there in sad silence. Yeah. When you mean when you said last time you were here, do you mean on the podcast or here at this? Like, last time I was on the show, on the, uh, last time I was on the podcast, yeah, in LA, at the in the fucking main room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the main room here too, so. And the main room at the, the, main room at the comedy store. The main room at the comedy <laughs> is store. This, this is the main room at the. At and and now, how long ago was that? Uh, it's probably like maybe six or seven months ago. It seems like. Yeah, and you went to LA for how long? I was there for like two years, and uh, yeah. Tony. Tony, isn't isn't any room that the Golden Pony is in the main room? Okay. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> a I have from. had a personal experience with all the people on the, I okay, okay. Can I say something? The final yeah. Try yeah, a joke. Can I get a fucking word in? Can I get a fucking word in? Shit, he's use got your a goddamn gun. Got hey. a gun. Oh hey. my god. Everybody here, use Jeez. your turn signal. I'm tired of it. Dustin, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. So I fucking have pictures of me and Doug Benson on my Instagram. Don't roast me out. I'll be deleting them tonight. Oh my god, Dustin. I'm just kidding. That would be tragic for me. I'm stuttering. Oh, Dustin, I'm stuttering. Dustin, I'm, Dustin, I'm stuttering. Dustin, over here. Look I had a bad stutter in high school. Dustin. And this thing. <laughs> Here. I am. I am. Okay, just relax. Relax. I'm, I'm a different person. <laughs> Did that pee come out of him? What is this on the ground? That's not pee. No. Dustin, what is going on with you, man? How old are you? Twenty-nine. Wow. I don't. I. 
It's confusing. <laughs> 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 yeah, you look like a day under 36. <laughs> Dustin, why do you look like all the characters of the Roseanne show if they were masturbating? <laughs> Topical. She supports Trump now. Oh, you are just bombing. <laughs> left <and left. laughs> Was the show was the show two years ago better? <laughs> Seven uh, ago? No, it was a, I I swear the material last time the minute last time was way worse. Wow. Way I got laughs I got laughs tonight. I'm gonna say He's that. He's like having polite yeah. Tourette's, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I I can't believe it. A lot of the open micers over there will fucking agree that it's crazy that I got called first. No, 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 no. It would be crazy if you got called up first if, if you were opening for Seinfeld or something. Oh. <laughs> Being called up first out of a randomized bucket would yeah. be the show yeah. that you would go right. first on. It would be crazy if you had 10,000 spoons, right. but you only needed a knife. Anything could happen. <laughs> You're right. How, how many toddler toes do you suck on? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Thank you, Jeremiah Watkins. I appreciate that. Yeah, fucking really, really nice guy. Fucking cool. Thank you. Oh, Dustin, I, at the rate that you're drinking right now, it makes me wonder how many cans of beer you go through like at night. Well, tonight I have had a lot. So. That, that's the only blue ribbon he's ever gotten. Oh! Thank you. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dustin, let's talk about it. Why do you look like a young Bill Belichick? I have no idea. What do you think? Well, I don't know. Why does it look like you play for Iceland in the Mighty Ducks movie? Oh my god! Oh, oh. Why does he look like Louis C.K.'s dick? Genitals over here, right? Red Man. I knew this was gonna happen. Did you? Yeah, did you? Wait, when you looked in the mirror tonight, my guess yeah, is. Yeah, I knew yeah, this yeah, was yeah, gonna yeah, happen yeah, when yeah. I remembered what I looked like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dustin, there's nothing left in that can. Uh, <laughs> you nervously ran out two minutes ago. Yeah, you look like there. you need iron in your diet and on your clothes. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. All right, all right. My, one of my favorite people ever roasted me just now. Wow. This is great. Wow, Dustin, what are you I'm do taking for, the fucking hey, bullet for tonight. Son of a oh, bitch, fuck. you rambling idiot. <laughs> Dustin, listen. <laughs> over here, over here. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm not, uh, he's I'm reeks, not gonna answer that. He, he's reeks stand up. I, I, I do post, I delivered, a po I delivered Postmates to Brian Redband once in LA. That was Whoa! <laughs> Then maybe start, start using feet. DoorDash for yeah, like he, true months. He lived in a pink house, so it's pretty cool. You had, uh, to, you had to bring him like some yeah. magnums, would you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That was creepy. Yeah. Dustin, yeah. What, what do you, what do Tony you do? Tony Okay, what's up? What do you do for a living here in Phoenix? I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. What's up? Well, go ahead. If you're what's not going to say it, then you might as well answer nope. the question. Wait, what, what do I do in Phoenix? What do I do in Phoenix? Hold on, what's up? Hold on, sorry. I kind of want to hear what he was going to say. No, I know. Don't give him that kind of power. Nope. Nope. He's really trying to be the what's up guy. Dustin, what do you yep. what do you do for a living here in Phoenix? I work for post I do postmates and I do other shit. I just do postmates basically, basically to make my mo my, my main money. Oh, shit. I don't give a fuck. Right, what do you do for fun? Like what's your what's your life like? Wait, what made you come back to Phoenix? I might have family here. I was like, I couldn't. The place I was staying at when I was there in LA, it yeah. just wasn't working out. And yeah, I, because they charged rent. No, it's expensive. No, it's expensive. No. Yeah, it's expensive. He's just got one hand in his well, pocket and the other's not flashing a peace sign. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna quote every Atlanta yeah. song while you're up here. Yeah. Did you play secret bets on yourself in Vegas on how many Atlantis more set yeah, references you're yeah. gonna make on this show tonight? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, I mean. The over under is a good bet. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Nice to see you one. guys. Like, <laughs> fuck yeah. yeah. Dustin. Dustin. Over the Lexington hung out. I uh, had you oh know, great God. times and shit. Wow. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. When you ramble like that, it makes sense. You laughed at one of my jokes at the clubhouse. You were sitting in the front, ha front row at the clubhouse once, and you laughed at my jokes. <laughs> Dustin. What, whatever. You're a naughty boy, Dustin, trying to hijack the show. Dustin, where does your babysitter think you are right now? God damn it. <laughs> I can't come back. If I come back, I'm going to have a fucking... How long have you been on stage?
stand up comedy? Uh, I'm not gonna answer that anymore. No, go ahead, answer the question. Like three to four years. <laughs> Two appearances on the show in which you have to do 60 seconds. Why do you think they haven't gone well if you've been doing it three or four years? I don't know. I guess I didn't, I guess I didn't do good tonight, so it's okay. How did, you did fine. The joke part you did was fine. Yeah, it's but fine. That, that, that 90 or 58 seconds around that, yeah. you weren't doing anything. How does it normally go? Yeah, no, just, How, where, where do you normally do shows at? Well, like, when I got the cat thing, I uh, didn't want to continue. Because I only had like, what, 10 seconds left? Something like that. Do you hear other people when they talk to you? Is it just, yeah. How many voices do you hear inside? It's always a seven-person podcast. Why do you keep drinking from an empty can? That's <laughs> it's unbelievable. There's not a sip left. He, there was. He, look, he looks like his... Now it's gone. There it is. There's now it's gone. He keeps an everlasting I've sip. I watched him tip it upside down. He must be spitting back into it or something like that. It's either a sip or he like puts a little rock in there. To give the can always has a little... In his defense, he's Something teething right now, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean. Dustin, what does help you fall asleep at night? Do you have any tricks to falling asleep at night other than being rocked slowly? Smoking weed. Yay! Yeah. Doug Benson. Oh. Thank you. Okay. I love Doug Benson. Thank you very much. You just and now he fucking hates me. Him. He thinks I'm the worst fucking comedian. What do you mean I hate you? I love you. Yeah, he doesn't think you're the worst comedian. He thinks you're probably the worst interview. Worst person? Worst person ever. Worst person ever. All right, that's it. Dustin yeah, Good luck, everybody. There he goes. Mike Mack in the mic stand. It was pretty bad. No, don't say that. It's chug, 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 it chug, 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 chug. Let me just remind everybody, I, and, I, and I've been meaning to say this lately, let me just remind everyone that signed up, and fans of the show, maybe, may, I feel like they know, but I'll say it anyway. On this show, like the 60 seconds is always fun. It's a great chance for us to get to meet you. But during the interview part, if you don't try to be funny, it goes much smoother. If you answer the questions honestly, and we can actually find out shit about you, it goes unbelievable, because I'm so fucking good at this shit. It's easier because they fuck up, and they go, oh, I gotta, I gotta save this, you know? Like, yeah. I gotta well, they just sneak jokes in. You don't have to sneak jokes in. And try to be less drunk than I am. <laughs> I think that's a good level to try to Can I get determine. Because I'm just judging. I don't have to tell jokes. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That's the funniest toddler I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Christian Pierce. <laughs> saw this lady texting and driving with two kids in the back seat. They were on seat belt and it was unbuckled. And I was like, what a terrible woman putting your children's lives at risk like that. Now I'm not a perfect person, but at least when I text and drive, the kids in my back seat are already dead. <laughs> my, my girlfriend thinks it's weird. It's okay. My girlfriend thinks it's weird that I'm irresponsible and broke and extremely pro-life. She's like, she doesn't understand. She's like, how are you so anti-abortion? You know, you're poor. You couldn't afford a baby. What would happen if I was pregnant right now? And I was like, honey, if you were pregnant, I'd stab you in the stomach. I don't even care that I'd lose that baby. Fuck yeah, there you go, Christian Pierce. You know, you know the show's getting popular when Anthony Justin likes signing up. And like, oh, you fucking make it. You kill Tony fans. I want to thank you for your loyalty. This is the level that we've gotten to. Can I just say that was yeah. the, the funniest one woman play I've ever seen? <laughs> You are a suave looking motherfucker, Christian Pierce. Uh, did you literally go through Fortnite to get here? Like, why are you so tattered up? And when you're done here tonight, you have to get back to Dawson and the creek. <laughs> Pacey yourselves, everybody. Oh, we 
just look at that thing he does with his hair. <laughs> But that's cool. We've been on the run, <laughs> driving in the sun, right. looking up from okay. number one. <laughs> We've been on the run. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to Phoenix, bitch. Christian, you've been on this show before, right? You were on the one in Los Angeles recently. Yeah. I remember we school. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joel, how do you feel about already running out of uh, giant toddler jokes and then Christian gets pulled out? I was gonna say he looks like uh, Paul Walker if yeah, he walked on his knees. Christian, do you live here in Phoenix? No, I live in LA. I'm just I was here for Easter and seeing my girlfriend. Oh, your girlfriend lives here in Phoenix? Yeah. Is she a student? Yeah, she goes to ASU. Oh! Wow. Damn. So you came here, you didn't have holes in your jeans yet. <laughs> that party got started real quick. Because his girlfriend has a dick? <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't need a dick to put holes in his jeans. I'm just no! So he gets on his knees to give her head. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. He also has one above the knee, though. That'd be really weird unless he was doing some kind of like tripod blowjob. You know what I mean? <laughs> Christian, uh, what is your uh, craziest like sex move that you do on your girlfriend in the bedroom? Like, you have any special tricks? Like, you seem like you'd have something. Like, you seem like if you took off your shirt, you'd have like a shark fin or something like that. <laughs> you have anything weird about you? Like wet feet? Um, something. So I can't do much. She's actually right there. So she has like, she's black. Wow. So wow. like, holy jeans, Batman. <laughs> she has a big butt, right? And you <laughs> can't can't do a lot can't of, deny? I can't do a lot of positions with like, you know, my small ass dick. You have a small dick? <laughs> Sometimes. Wow. Sometimes he fucks her with his soft dick, and if that's what he wants to do, then by God, it's 2018. If you want to stick a little softy in there, you know, do what you want. You know, bake it out like bread, you know what I mean? And eventually, the yeast will rise. When you're done, you're like, you just got soft served. <laughs> I call that the glove compartment. Uh, Christian, how long have you been with your black girlfriend? Uh, almost two years. Almost right after you left the years. Aryan Nation? <laughs> kind of, kind of. Yeah, oh. almost two years. Did you, have you always just dated black girls exclusively? No, she's like my first girlfriend. She's like your first girlfriend? Yeah, I had another one for like three months, but she was a whore. And <laughs> what? what made her a whore? What did she do? Just talk back. <laughs> Wow. You know what I'm tired of? All these whores out there who talk back whenever I look at them. I decide when you talk, you dumb whore. Hashtag me, boo. Yeah, you and I have different definitions for the word whore. No, yeah, she cheated. She oh, she cheated? cheated. Yeah, that was uh, and then she talked uh, too much? Uh, Fuck that shit. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, but at least she gave it to you for free, right? The other guy had to pay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who did she, whore, yeah. she cheat on you with? Do you know specifically? No, I, fucking, I saw, like, right after we broke up, I saw, uh, like, a sex tape of her. She's pretty crazy. Wow. Uh, did wow. you save it? Can we yeah, watch it? How can was we, uh, was it also? Can we bring the screen down? <laughs> it's underage, so I can't show it. Wow. Was, 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 the, phone. was the film also yeah. black and white? <laughs> Wait. You dated an underage whore? <laughs> Christian, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an actor. He's a date rapist. <laughs> <laughs> You're an actor? Yeah. What have you acted in? I just finished a movie two, a month ago, last I month. I act a fool. <laughs> Forget it. 
<laughs> like, what, what was the movie that you finished? It's called A Child's Voice. It's about child sex trafficking. It's raining! Uh, what oh, is up with you and underage kids? Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, in it's in his jeans. It's in his jeans. No, 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 I play a sex traffic cop in it. It's okay. But wait a minute, there's a lot of holes in your story. Yeah. You can also catch Christian in the new uh, Penn State movie with, uh... Is that, is, are those holes in your jeans where the kids climb up to your dick? Oh my goodness, it is. It's like a little jimboree. Red man. All right, well, I mean, so... Where can we find some of the work that you've already done that's like out there? Is there anything out there that you've a done? A police lineup? <laughs> no, this, this movie's gonna be on Amazon and Hulu, I think. I'm, yeah. I'm sh pretty sure it's Hulu. Yeah, one of Fuck those. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it would come out on both of those. <laughs> I don't know how it works, though. Where, your par where do your parents live? You, live here. you close with them? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, what do they think about you having a black girlfriend? Uh, they, they're, they're they still don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Three years. That's how it is sometimes. No, they're cool. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Have you have you met your black girlfriend's black parents? Yes. Both of them? Yes. Really? No, who did that? Who stepdad? Yeah. Oh. Stepdad. You hear it? You hear that? Stepdad. All right. Just making sure. Yeah, that right on the nose. Yeah, I, I get jealous when uh, because I also didn't have a dad growing up, so I get jealous when I find out black kids that did have those parents. Because usually I at least count on them for not having a dad too. Because I didn't have a dad either, so I can say that. So fuck you. Anyway, Christian, you seem like a really suave guy. Like you consider this a toned back version of you? Like what do you wear on like a Friday night? I mean, you're full fucking Aerosmith right now, dude. Like, Aerosmith if he worked at, like, Old Navy or something like that. <laughs> Where are you going to get your shirts now that American Apparel is closed? Shit out of luck, honestly. African American Apparel? <laughs> Christian, what's the craziest thing that uh, you've ever done that nobody knows that you ever did that you don't want anybody to ever know about, so you can't believe you said it on a podcast? Anything? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like the weirdest thing I've done in my life. Yeah. Sophomore year of high school, I was in a pretty dark place. Are you like talking about with your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. 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 This is just home run derby over right here, for you. No, he went to a dark place high school. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a dark place, no, sophomore yeah. year, everybody's picking on you. You didn't get your braces taken off yet. Actually, no, I had them put on like my senior year, so that's even, you know. Oh, wow, there, there you go. go. Your pants uh, are completely intact. Yes. <laughs> so things are not good. Yeah, listening to Eminem all the time. Anyway, I got, I had like a month and a half, two month span of just watching like rape porn. Wow. <laughs> she doesn't know that. Did I'm you gonna, say great oh, wow. porn? This is interesting. <laughs> Great fantasy, not actual rape porn. That great exist. fantasy That's porn? Checked. I'd like to hear about some great fantasy porn. Do you like to be choked? Or do you no. like to choke? No, no. I don't. Honestly, I don't. I don't no? Do you Sometimes ever strangle like your own dick? <laughs> yes. Have you ever been with a squirter? Okay, Brian. <laughs> this is just... You have? Another episode of Dysentery. I've had a whole So, Chris. Uh, have you ever been with a super soaker? <laughs> <laughs> when you say that you were. Only looking at rape porn. Like. Not only looking, like, I would like, you know, once You'd a week. You'd have a snack or... Yeah. Every once in a while. Go for a know, walk. I go on, like, if the internet's down, <laughs> you're like, no means no. I can't believe you just admitted that on a podcast. <laughs> it's great. Great fantasy, you know. not rape porn, but great fantasy porn. Don't you know? king shame, all right? Great fantasy porn. If you throw in the fantasy word, it makes yeah. it all right, right? Yeah. Totally not illegal. I mean, it is pedophile fantasy yeah. porn. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. Yeah, like, There's the so many stuff. people that fantasize. Like, I daydream about rape all the time. <laughs> It's a fucking fantasy. It's like Lord of the Rings. You yeah, know what I mean, it's Lord like, of the Rings. It's like you know, wizards it's raping it. each other and stuff. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah, except they're shoving their magic wands in uh, bubbles. All right, <laughs> see that bubble joke? I'm rubbing off on you. Um. All right. Uh, okay, I get it. Christian, 
All right, it was nice to meet you, dude. There you go, Chris again. It was nice to meet him again. It's been on. Oh yeah, that's true. He has, uh, he has gone. Hey, look, it's Patty Reagan. There he is, back. He's sitting right there. Yeah, he did a lot of heroin. All right. Black Sharpie marker. I got excited. Thought maybe Aphrodite was here, but this is a different Black Sharpie marker. Put your hands together for Quentin Hill. <laughs> so much. Oh, my name is Quentin. This is going bad so far. Uh, yeah. uh, my name is Quentin, like he said. Uh, and fuck my mom for that, right? I didn't know, okay, I didn't know until the boys how easily Quentin rhymed. And it's gonna sound so obvious, so don't, you know, don't shout out the punchline, but I had no idea how easily Quentin rhymed until the boys with dumb faggot bitch. Um, and now I do, apparently pretty goddamn easy. Um, I, I grew up with a mental disability. That's true. Um, I don't love talking about it, but uh, the mental disability I grew up with, some of you guys might know it as Mormonism. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I quit recently, uh, obviously. Um, uh, I quit because I was supposed to go on a mission. My parents wanted me to go on a mission. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, it cost $9,000, and you have to do it for two years. Uh, fuck that noise. But my mom wanted me to go, so she was like, oh, I want you to go on a mission. I was like, listen, mom, well, I am on a mission. I'm on a mission in life to not be gullible as fuck. That's my mission, ma. Uh, that's my goddamn mission. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah. One of the uh, funniest performances we've ever had by one of the members of Smashing Pumpkins. So let's get that out of the way first. We noticed the mic kept going on and off during his set. Yeah, if that ever happens, uh, just push it in. It's, yeah. it's just, yeah. just a rookie maneuver. Just, just don't even spit on it. For sure. Quentin. <laughs> there it is. Could you move that? The audience can't see me. For sure. Okay. <laughs> Quentin, uh, you have an interesting look to you. Has anybody ever told you that before? Like you sort of like got squozen through like a wine bottle at some point in your life or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? All the time. All right. What's that accent? Uh, I don't have one. It, obnoxious, maybe. I don't know. Wait, you don't have an accent? You say years? Well, I don't. What's that Say word? it again, years? Years? Yeah, years. Many, many years? Years. Minnesota? Dude, no. you guys just don't talk bro, okay, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Are your parents, like, you, you're from Phoenix, born and raised? Uh, yes, suburb, yeah. So Gilbert, but Is it, Phoenix. What, what, what do we think about Gilbert? What's that, a nice suburb? <laughs> why, why do we not like <laughs> Dude, Gilbert can eat a dick, bro. <laughs> what, can you, what can you tell us about your, what can you tell us about your home city that you're proud of? I, Gilbert? Mormons. 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 I got one for you. Yeah, go for two things. Mormon Ooh. and like the cops are like fucking them not. The caps? The caps. The caps. The caps are unruly. Yeah, they've been bothering me for years. I find it interesting that you're Mormon because your face looks like I'm always looking at you through one of those peepholes on the door. <laughs> you naturally look. Please, guys. How hey, hey, there? hey! Show Keanu Reeves some respect, please. <laughs> Whoa. This is Keanu Reeves. This is Keanu if he ate the red, it blue, and white pills. This, this is Keanu Reeves if you watch the movie in reverse. You know the movie. I love that Keanu Reeves movie. What a great movie career. And I, I, there's something in my gut telling me that you don't eat so healthy. A lot of Doritos and Monster Energy drinks, stuff like that, am I right? I just, yeah, I just don't eat a lot of food. Yeah. You're vegan, you're vegan. Are you vegan? Oh, goddamn no. Uh -uh. no. I don't like no. those people at all. All right, I was wrong, sorry. I look vegan. It's okay. What about bread? I love it. Yeah. Sometimes. The bun is a tribute, right? <laughs> Oh my god. 
He, he looks like he gets a lot of tang, the juice drink. <laughs> Quentin, what do you do for work? Uh, I serve at a restaurant in Gilbert. Gilbert. A restaurant in Gilbert. The Barrio Queen Gilbert. Yeah, yeah. Well, some, a lot of people just whoa that. It's like, they, they always wanted to eat there, but like, they don't quite have the money. Did you hear that noise? I'm like, whoa, whoa. It's a pretty nice place. Pretty nice place. Uh, and when did you get fired from teaching yoga to start <laughs> Flexible at all. Never will. Quentin, how long have you been waiting tables for? Uh, like six months now. What'd you do before that? Uh, I delivered pizza for a while. Ah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you did? <laughs> What's some of your awesome. favorite types of music? Just start awesome. rattling off some bands you listen to today. Oh, you're gonna hate. Go oh, ahead. Go no. ahead. I. I yeah. I'm on my way here. The blow. I want the people. I, that's the whole point. Okay. That's why I'm, I know it's gonna be fucking terrible. Well, Hall and Oates. Hall oh, and Oates. Next is Midnight Runners. It's good right. music, right? Wait. You know, there was one band there, a duo, lots of hits, mm -hmm. and then you said Dexy's Midnight, Midnight Runners, Runners. It, they, who have like one a, song. Two. Come on, Two Come on, was a hit in the UK. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Everybody, I mean, everybody in Gilbert. Music. Everybody in Gilbert. Uh, Listening to what's going on in the UK. <laughs> the old hipster test. You just pull, pull, ask a deep, bland music question, watch them flutter. And they're big in the UK. Exactly. That's right. great. Those are great top two, though. Yeah, thank you. Quentin, uh, how long have you been on stand up? Uh, like a year and eight months. What's like other stuff that you tend to talk about that you think is interesting about your life or anything like that when um, I mean, you're doing stand up? I just like I, I like the angle of being Mormon, but I kind of played that out early. Um, but you past the Mormon phase in your comedy career? Well, it's just it's just still fresh wounds with my mother and all. Really. You know? A little bit. Why, did your mother, mother, your mother-in-law's an extreme Mormon? My, she's not my mother-in-law, but yeah, she, she, her and my dad are both still. Do you like her? Yeah, I, my mom, I love my mom. Are you, are you calling your mother-in-law your mom? She's not my mother-in-law, she's just my mom. Oh, I don't okay. know. I apologize. Dude, is, wow. your, is your mom hot, dude? <laughs> Come on. All right. Dude, how how, how, is she one of those hot mom moments I've heard so much about? Oh, no. What does your mom want you to do? Uh, to be Mormon, to be a robot Mormon, to, to not do this. Um, How much does that Mormon. make? How much can you make being a Mormon? Um, you can make a lot of bad choices and a lot, waste a lot of time. So you just money. chose, you just chose to be a moron. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. What's the part of uh, being Mormon that you dislike the most? Oh my God. The butt Where's, sex. You're not allowed to do like. Anything fun. Do you enjoy caffeine? The, really, the worst part of it isn't like all the rules, it's just the like mentality of Mormons and their arrogance. What's something fun that you could have done one night that you didn't do because you were Mormon? I could have gone far. Like, I, in high school, I hung out with the Mormons instead of like the, the you know, my other friends. And so I could have ah. experienced life a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever finger a girl? Oh my god. Oh, yeah, Brian. That's yeah. Yeah. I have. Have you? Have you? Have you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of these ladies might find out off the show. You know You're what I'm saying? You ever touch like the cauliflower part in there? Okay. okay. Brian, what are you doing? What? What was, was that? saying everything what was that? that you're thinking of. What was that? I, I shouldn't have indulged that. My bad. That's mine. That's on me. Yeah, you ever, you, you ever seen boobs in person before? <laughs> Quinton, in, re in real life, have you had sex with a girl? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is more interesting. This very... You're laughing at me. No. Uh, you have a girlfriend right now? Wait, no. When wait, you're about to have sex with her, did you, did you say I'm about to drop in? <laughs> I don't get that one. I got me neither. I think this is skateboarding. Yeah, skateboarding. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't board. Did you put it right in her half pipe? Try it. See, do you have a girlfriend? How you guys doing? I do not know. What's the meanest thing your mom ever said to you? Did she say uh, your face looks like your skull's protruding through it? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> 
I'm saying? That's my mean boy, Patty Reagan. <laughs> Oh, those were my friends in high school. That's what those kids were like. Oh. Oh. What did your not friends say to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Quentin, uh, if I could give you some advice, I think... Uh, if my you... enemies were quite cordial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say make fun of yourself more. Like, make fun of the way you look up front. Uh, and, like get that out of the way. Am I that much of a care? Like am I that? I think weird? De definitely. There's like a, almost like a Jim Carrey if like someone like beat him almost to death with a you, you, you actually look like that was half a moment. You know what? You know who he looks. Like? He looks like Tosh 1.0. Oh. 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 You guys having fun out there? Yeah. Back to the urn of Phoenix we go. Where's your bucket of the bucket of destiny doesn't travel with us. It's a plastic jack-o'-lantern, so it stays at the comedy store. Turn down the guitar. We, we don't want to. Uh, oh oh geez, shit! Wow. Somebody <laughs> thinks there's too much guitar. There's one guy that thinks there's too much guitar. Jesus. Ooh, red ink. I'm excited about this. Let's see what happens. It's whitest. Of it out on her forehead. Well, the BS coming and they don't stop coming. Back to the rules and I hit the ground running. Did it make sense? Not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see, so much wrong with taking the back kids. You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't go. Whitest, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Good job on the pronunciation. Uh, last name Whitest usually gets mispronounced pretty often. Like back in middle school, instead of Whitest, they used to call me White Ass. Mm -hmm. right? It's funny because it's true and racist. But uh, being one of our, I grew up in a Hispanic community, so uh, they kind of pronounce it a little bit different. They pronounced it Pinchy White Ass. A little bit different. But being one of the only white kids that, uh, it was kind of hard to understand racism because I always thought white people were the minority. So like my uh, classmates would tell me that white people stole this land from Mexico. I was kind of confused because it looks like we gave it back. <laughs> but I should have did a better job. I should have uh, like learned more about their culture and some of their traditions. Like I didn't understand the one where everybody chants Viva La Raza when they kick the shit out of me. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, 59 seconds. First time on the show, right? Yes, sir. First time ever. Awesome. Ever doing stand up? First time holding a mic. Wow. First time holding a mic. <laughs> that guy who's been doing it for a year and eight months feels pretty bad. <laughs> and the guy doing it three or four years oh, is already Don't dead. even talk about him. He's no longer with us. He's never held a mic, but he has uh, held a Miguel before. <laughs> yeah, Whitus. Uh, you can ask, ask him that. Why just Whitus? Why not your first name? Because no, Whitus is your last name? It is. Yeah. yeah. What's uh, wrong with your first name? No, Andrew, is it right is? <laughs> yeah, it must be another W, right? It must like be no, no, like no. Willie Whitus. No, just uh, as a big Ginger Whitus. That's good. <laughs> No, just uh, being a big fan of the show, I know that you usually make a comment on one word names, so that's all. Like oh. earthquake, you think yeah. Whitus. Yes. <laughs> all the natural yeah. disasters. So Whitus, uh, stand up something you've always wanted to do? I've always been a huge fan of comedy, yeah. but never even contemplated doing it until really I discovered the show. Right, and then you waited until we came to Phoenix and you're like, this is it. Yes, sir. What do you do for Tonight, a Tonight I'm gonna be the Whitus. <laughs> <laughs> This reminds me of high school. So this is something uh, that you've always thought about but have never done. What do you do for a living? I'm an AutoCAD drafter, so I draw like blueprints for uh, underground construction. Oh, wow. Construction. <laughs> 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 wow. That's cool. How long have you been doing that for? Two years. You married? I am. 
How long have you been married for? Uh, a year and a half, yes. Wow, where'd you meet her at? Uh, she was uh, opening up a hospital down south of Tucson, and I was getting uh, a job there, and so. Oh yeah, yeah. digging ditches, finding bitches. You know what I mean? <laughs> Turn, get, take those blueprints and turn them into whitest prints. You know what I mean? Wait, you said she was opening up a hospital? Uh, her. Yeah. Yes. You're not opening it. Come get your hospital. <laughs> and you're going to. Come on. Go you know That's one of my two favorite bands. Girl, that's why you think that works. Yeah, she, my girl's opening up hospitals. That's probably the richest that means girl, right? She's working at the hospital, right? What she's, is she, the real estate agent of the hospital? No, there was like a group of people that would open up a bunch. She was like a little bit of my sugar mama. Whoa! Yeah! Don't you know? Right. Uh, Dude, I was awesome. I, like, I've only dated one richer girl than me in my whole life. I'm 43, and it was awesome, you know? Like, Wait, you're 43? Yeah. You know, Play some creepy sound effect or something. <laughs> Wait, say 43 again. I am 43 and... <laughs> and a smoker and a drinker. Yeah. No, but uh, it's nice having a rich girl for, you know, that's kind of cool. Does she, like, what? spoil you? Or? Yeah, what's, I mean, like, the coolest thing she's ever done for you? Does she ever get you something you really like, like that chainsaw you always wanted, you know what I mean? Uh, F-150. Whoa, would, that would have been my next guess. Guys that look, they look like you love F-150s. <laughs> that's, that's not what an F-150 sounds like. There you, there you go, yeah. Do you funny. enjoy your job? Because why would you still do that job if your wife is rich? Uh, I do enjoy it. Um, and, you do? You know, yeah. Yeah. I, really? I, I, yeah, all day, every day? Headphones in 10 hours a day listening to filters. Oh shit, well, that makes it Yeah, good. which is great because that, obviously you're replaying the episodes over and over again. We appreciate the heck of the downloads. It's only an hour and a half a week, one. so. That's awesome. I love that, man. Anything, you ever find anything crazy out there digging through shit? No, no, I'm just in, in a cubicle just doing the blueprints. Yeah. yeah so I don't really oh, know. okay. You I get, thought it was like hard labor or something. Nah. You get that, you get that <laughs> AutoCAD 3D yet? <laughs> no, that's an engineer joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah, really. that's a new killed with the engineers in the room. Uh, what's so what that, do you do what's the hat mean? Uh, uh, Arizona. Arizona. What is yeah, that? That's Arizona not too what? Popular here, Arizona Wildcats. <laughs> Jeremiah, oh, people seem all right with it. Yeah, you you know, thought you get booed for that? Uh, yeah, up here for sure. All right. Anyway, why? Just what do you do for fun? <laughs> Uh, huge sports fan. I uh, love MMA. I know you're an MMA guy. Yeah, what sports are you into? Like, I mean, do you play any sports? I tore my ACL three times playing football. Wow. Yeah, yeah but I play. You mean sports. soccer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, uh, how Latino are you? No, I'm, I'm very white, Lithuanian. So, oh. Yeah, Wait, you're not Mexican? <laughs> no. no. Boo this man. <laughs> <laughs> It's white, it's not brownest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should have figured. I thought you were a Mexican, dude. Thank you. <laughs> it is a compliment, so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, nice. You're welcome. It's kind of. You, you, is your girl white? What's up? Is your girl white? Uh, yeah, but my first wife is black. Whoa, oh, really? Oh, is that true? Oh, Where are you pointing? Is she here too? No, I'm not. <laughs> is, it, is that other dude's new girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Whitus, what else is interesting about you? you have any special skills or talents? Do you like a master categories player or something like that? Uh, not necessarily a talent, but something fairly interesting is uh, I was in the military for 13 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your service. And then I got kicked the fuck out. So. Wait. Oh, they, you can't get back in or I mean, not in anymore? No getting back in for me. Wow, what happened? What happened? They uh, found out he was Lithuanian. <laughs> It's a sleeper cell, eh? <laughs> was it a dishonorable discharge? It, it was an other than honorable discharge. What is that? So it's a general all of us. For sure, yeah. No, it means that like it wasn't, like I didn't tell no secrets or nothing like that, but that's so why I got in trouble twice uh, in the military. One was adultery, which was kind of BS. And then the other one was derelict. Oh, wait, 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 So this is when you had the black wife? Correct. And where did, what part of the world did you go to? 
No, no, it wasn't even like that. It was, uh, damn, you did it while here in Phoenix. <laughs> Not, Tucson. 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 Oh yeah, that's where everybody goes to cheat out here. We were uh, close enough, but not too close. You know what I mean? It's fucking 35 minutes, just enough time to get you know blue balls and shit. All right, so we were my going, old friend. We were going through a divorce. Uh, divorce took like 12 months. Mm -hmm. Eight months, I moved out, and uh, and then just got a girlfriend, and so they hit me with the culture. Wow, that is bullshit. Well, how That's did they know? How did they know you had sex with somebody? So, so one day, my soon-to-be ex-wife at the time called me up and said she wanted to make a baby book for our daughter, and she needed to know the street I grew up on, my grandpa's name, and like my mother's name. Yeah. No! She asked you all your fucking email recovery questions and you fell for it? How would you do that? Oh my god, this is the funniest shit ever. Did you talk about this on stage? It's brilliant. That's right, it's his first time on stage. There's no way he's done it. I've never heard of anybody doing something that stupid. That's like kind of like the Judd Apatow movie or something like, oh, I'm putting together a baby book for our daughter. I'm going to need the street you grew up on. Yeah, yeah. Your grandpa's name and uh, the first pet that you ever had. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out your porn name. What city did you grow up in? And what's your social? <laughs> and you fucking took the bait. You're like, anything to get off the phone with this bitch. <laughs> yeah, sure. Now, wow. Now, now that you had to change your security what questions, yeah. uh, what were yeah. those security <laughs> questions? <laughs> Do you remember them? I could use it. Wow. So what did she find when she got there? How long were you hooking up with this other chick? Uh, like maybe a couple months. So it was like tons of emails. Very, very. Oh yeah. You know. Is that the one that you ended up marrying? That was my second wife. Oh. The, the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ray, 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 Ray. So you got three wives. Jerry. 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 Yeah, yeah. My wives. <laughs> Why do you keep... Wait, so you are Mexican. <laughs> You've gotten on one knee so much, I'm surprised your jeans don't look more like Christian Pierce's. Yeah, Good man. Too. Three wives don't make a right. <laughs> Three wives don't make a white. <laughs> So, uh, how long did, have these marriages last? Five years and five years. Five years, five years. How long are you into your third marriage? About a year and a half. Oh. <laughs> and what was the name of the street you grew up on? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out your porn name. <laughs> what was your pet? That is awesome, Whitus. Well, I mean, you came up, you had one of probably, so far, the best set You did night. great! First time ever on stage. Great interview. Nice to meet you. There he is, Whitus! Woo! Oh, first time ever on stage! You did it! Phoenix doesn't even want to see people succeed. They don't want people to do good here in Phoenix. They're like, we, we came here to watch people bomb and get drunk. <laughs> I would say bomber on an ex-military guy. It's a uh, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, keeping it moving along. You guys having fun out there? No? All right, here we go for Josh B. What are we to do?
Uh, after I got out of the Army, I decided to go to nursing school because I was tired of saving lives and uh, not having people make fun of me for doing a woman's job. Uh, yeah, the Army uh, definitely was a more masculine uh, profession, but they make up for it by uh, doing a lot of uh, homoerotic shit. <laughs> Josh B, uh, is this your first time ever doing stand-up? Yeah. Fuck yeah. it. Oh! 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 Josh, how old are you? I'm um, 33. I feel like you're still a paramedic. Are you still a paramedic? You look uh, like every paramedic I've ever seen. You're a nurse. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, where are you a nurse at? The hospital that that lady opened up? <laughs> uh, I'm a pediatric nurse. I do home health. So. Whoa, home health. Fuck yeah. yeah. You're like the fucking dude <laughs> <of> nurses. Pretty <laughs> much. Pretty knock, much. knock, knock. I'm here to see the kids. <laughs> And I also have to warn you, I moved into your neighborhood. <laughs> he does look like that one Penn State coach. Not Sandusky, but the one that like ratted on everybody, you know what I mean? Not ratted on, I guess it's a good thing that he told. I just fucking ratted on you. Yeah. You know what? Keep your fucking mouth shut. You see people butt fucking kids. Damn rat. <laughs> You're a rat! He looks, uh, he looks like a Twilight vampire that golfs on the weekend. Incredible, but the, from the forehead up, you look like you're made of pure doll. <laughs> you, know, you look like you're made of like wooden doll. Like you're yeah. very well chiseled. You look like a shop at Arnold and Palmer's. <laughs> what? Arnold and Palmer's? I like it. Have you been on any adventures lately, Tim Tim? <laughs> Are you the, is it true that you're the local leader of your neighborhood watch? Hey, uh, where, where does your ventriloquist think you are right now? <laughs> you, know what, you know, Tony, I think I, I think I have a new idea for a new segment on the show. Like, what? what's, is your t-shirt a graphic t-shirt underneath the shirt that you're wearing? It's uh, an undershirt. Okay, no. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's, nice keep it, let's keep the comedy part of the show. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta dress layered here in this fucking cold weather. <laughs> Josh, why do you look like if Brock Lesnar had a four-month-old child? <laughs> Listen, are you still a boss or are you just a regular baby now? <laughs> Seriously though, why do you look like if somebody put uh, both of Trump's sons in a microwave at the same time? All right, Josh, you single? Uh, no, I'm married. Yeah. Oh wow, how long have you been married for? Uh, ten years. Ten years. Yeah, long ass time. Wow. That's two fives. You do much better than Whitus. How old are you again? Thirty-three. You got married at twenty-three. Why'd you do that? What happened? Just tell the truth. It's okay. Just be honest. I used to be Mormon. Wow! It's me! It's It is. I didn't know. You guys big on? All right. I used to be a Mormon. Look at look at Jeremiah's Christian eyes just light up pure red. Fuck you, Mormon. My Jesus is the only Jesus. Did you did you see the Book of Mormon? Did you did you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, it was pretty fun. See, yeah, this guy looks like he read that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Right. Josh, what's something that you, that you do for fun? Like you seem like you would like rollerblade sometimes. Do you enjoy looking around in one pocket? <laughs> yeah, good job. What do you do for fun? Oh, uh, I started working out again. Stop since bending the cord like military. that. Like, don't don't bend the cord Sorry, like that. I was trying no, to hold it in. Don't worry. If you do that, it'll, it gets worse. I've learned that I from know. doing this for over a decade. I really, I don't know. It's okay. He won't do it. He's good. good. He's I'm good. good. Just stay confident. You just got it. Good. Keep your eyes up. Okay. I'm stay sorry. powerful. Everything is good. It's okay. I didn't really. I don't have any aspirations for stand up. I just wanted a chance to talk to one of the top rising comedians. <laughs> Well, he's right behind you, Joel Menes. Say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you guys come to one of the stand-up shows all weekend in Tempe and uh, find out exactly how true that is. Tony is going to be stirring in his sleep tonight. He's going to be like, I can't believe somebody else was called one of the top down rides of comedians. Yeah, that's how I work. Because that, that's, that's what I do when you I You stand all hunched over like that? Yeah, while you're sleeping. I stand up hunched over and I start talking. Yeah, I start talking. Yeah. Sorry, 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 I can't hang upside down on the stage. <laughs> this is like Spider-Man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, Josh, you've been married 10 years. How many girls did you have sex with before you got married? Uh, alive? <laughs> What's the answer? A couple. So that's two. It's not very no, it was a man and wife that he made love to. I joined the Mormon the church later in life. Yeah. Like, well, not later in life. When I was 17. Yeah. You meant ladder in life, so, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting high with five right now. Uh, wow. So you're saying that you hooked up with a couple chicks before 17? Look at you, you dirty, dirty boy. Man, how many hours did you have to confess for that shit? I took a lot of repentance. Yeah? yeah. Is that true? Did you really have sex with two girls before 17? Yeah. I mean, was right. one of them just a ripe piece of fruit and one was a sister? <laughs> Do you go after albinos? <laughs> Wait, you can't rim shot your own shit. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, Josh, what else do you do for fun? Anything else? Like any hobbies? Anything Not really. Like I have two kids. So. Oh yeah. How, how old are your kids? Uh, my daughter's five, and my son's about to turn eight. Wow. What's the uh, What's the thing that your son's done that disappointed you the most? <laughs> He's just a pussy. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Holy shit! I, I, I think he's here. I think, I think he's here tonight. Let's talk to him. What's, why, wow! Look at him. Does anybody know why Hodor is standing at the base of this house? Wait, wait a minute. I didn't That's Curly from Lost. No, he's got to get back to his school of rock. <laughs> Is he here to take us to Wonka Land? <laughs> uh, no, no, we no, don't, we don't we know want you to do that. That's not how it works, man. That's not how it works. He was, he was ready to do five seconds. There we go. I thought we were having a YouTube shooting here for a second. Oh, too soon, really? No deaths, people. No deaths. Hey, guys. We need more of these women shootings. Hey, Zero Tony. deaths. Only suicide. Incredible. Tony, Tony. Yeah, Tony, there was that one day. Tony, forgive this guy Hurley. He's lost. Hey, Fuck yeah. Yeah. Soon he'll also be, by the looks of that guy, I think he'll also be standing at the base of the stairway to heaven pretty well as well. Oh, all right, I guess we like the likable uh, chubby guy that was at the base of the stairs. Sorry, guys, I didn't realize that one was he, off limits. He, 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 looks like, he looks like he ate all of the knights at medieval times. <laughs> oh, wait, there he is again. 
I got my eye, and I'm never gonna stop looking at this guy. Besides sunlight, what do you hate the most? <laughs> Being blown out on cameras. Do you still this pull is up there? I mean, like, do you, are you scared of any like heights or you know uh, monsters? No, I have I have scorpions in my house for the first time. I lived in Arizona for the like band? seven years. No. Uh, yeah, my two kids. And they're they're like little scorpions. <laughs> but it's pretty common to have scorpions, and you 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 lasted all this time. Uh, is that what you're saying? Are scorpions? Are there a lot of scorpions? Yeah, there, there are, but this is the first time I've Do you seen. still pull pranks on Mr. Wilson? <laughs> we, we, we did brush over his, his son being a pussy because of that. That's exactly oh, what right. I was just about to get back to. And why is your son a pussy? Uh, he just fucking cries about everything. Wow. wow. He's, yeah. like, he's like, get over here! <laughs> How old is he? He doing? cries when I hit him. Have you, ever, <laughs> have you ever told him that you think he cries too much? All the time. And yeah. he's like, shut up, Dad, you're a nurse. What is he normally? <laughs> what does your son normally say when you tell him that he, you think he cries too much? Uh, I don't know. Well, can we find out? Would you be willing to I'm call sure your son right now? Yeah. And yeah. Share with Let's get him on the horn. The eight-year-old son that you think he cries a little bit too much? Yeah. Can you call him on speakerphone? No, I can't. He's in bed. He's in bed? Yeah. He Dude, he is a pussy. He's in bed already? Yeah. yeah. He's in bed crying Nine himself 26. to sleep. What kind of eight-year-old is this? Oh, have some fucking fun. Leave him alone. But is his mom still alive? Oh, oh wait. That doesn't... Oh. All right. Uh, all right, Josh. Well, he's at home with mom? Yeah. Yeah. What's his bedtime for reals? I try to get him to bed as soon as the sun goes down. It's wow. I thought you were going to say, as soon as the sun comes up, I can't stand that pussy. <laughs> Time for bed, son. <laughs> hey, so, Josh, uh, this is your first time ever on stage, and uh, it was a pleasure to meet you, and yeah. there he goes. Same. Woo! Yes. Woo! back it has been their first ever time uh on stage so we have a little bit of forward momentum going on with that right now who knows there could how, be many, how many left do you think we have maybe way 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 too many uh all right here's another new name put your hands together for thomas zoria <laughs> me, they're like, that's an interesting name. That's actually very ill-fitting. Just like your voice. <laughs> that's not a stage name. That's my real last name. That's a Cuban last name. I don't identify as Cuban. I identify as a white Latino. And I say that, okay, these are the benefits of being a white Latino. I'm white. And those are the benefits of being a white Latino. It wasn't easy being a white Latino, man. Mexican kids make fun of me because I look white. White kids make fun of me because I was fat. I could never win. Okay. What's the last name again? Zoria. That's the craziest name I've ever heard. Thomas and Zoria. He should do a whole minute on how crazy that name is. What did the other Zorias do? Uh, the other one died, so there's that. Wow, how'd the other one die? Who's the other one? Uh, Pops. Yeah, how'd he die? Uh, heart attack. Heart attack. So he ate I don't two. believe it. Oh, God. Wow, Jordan, he's just, wow, really building a wall between you and the other Latino on this stage. 
Thomas, how long have you been on stand-up? Uh, three and a half years. Three and a half years, all here in Phoenix? Yeah. Right, uh, how old are you? Uh, 27. What do you do for work? I'm an outbound salesman. A what? Outbound salesman. Outbound? Yeah, like, you see Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. yeah. It's like that, but a lot shittier. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That really didn't answer the question. <laughs> uh, I sell advertisement at Yelp. Wow. Uh, Probably not after this podcast, though. <laughs> wow. Well, that's fun. I mean, how long have you been doing that for? Uh, about a month now. Oh, what were you doing before that? I sold insurance. Liberty. How would you rate that job? How would I rate hey, that job? Hey, there it is. Somebody said Liberty like you were their insurance guy. At one point. <laughs> well, I got fired from there, so I didn't do very well. Was it Liberty? Uh, I can't say for legal reasons, but yeah. the feeling was at Liberty Mutual. Wow. Uh, hey, good, I like that. Why were you fired, though? I mean, were you being too progressive? Wow. <laughs> We're all in good hands. Fuck yes. Yeah. The Indian spirits. It's a joke so easy, even a caveman can do it. <laughs> he, said, he said he had an ill-fitting voice. I would have gone on a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Uh, Thanks, well. Phoenix. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favorite food? Uh, arroz con gris. What? what? You got so excited you became unintelligible. <laughs> the politically correct term is white Latino. Um, it's arroz con gris. What it's is a, that? It's rice. a Cuban food. You gotta make rice and beans and you cook them together at the same time. That's not nationwide. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure the uh, I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations is up <laughs> Insurance jokes. Uh, all right, Josh. So it's just rice and beans mixed together. That's it. They're cooked in a certain way. Yeah, you gotta like make the. What's rice. the way? Because by the shape of you, it looks like in slow roasted maple syrup. <laughs> when you say a certain way, I feel like it's a certain way part that is. Uh, that we're I don't know what the now. grass is eating, but it's definitely grass fed at this state farm. <laughs> Because rice and beans is really good for you, and uh, you look like you haven't taken a shit since 2012. 2013 close, yeah. How's your tuberculosis coming along? We should do more jokes about the other lumberjacks bullying you. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is really funny. Do you always wear uh, shirts like you dress like a young John Goodman? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. John Batman? He, he, looks, he looks like the brawny man if he really let himself go. I get through carry sometimes too, yeah. Really? Well, the price is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Whose side is in any way Drew Carey? Not price is right, Drew Carey. Right. right. Yeah, I think they're talking about like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. Right? Less eyeshadow. Zorio, it was that what Nate was that me Mexican? Cuban, Cuban. Cuban. And Thomas, that's uh... <laughs> also Cuban. <laughs> All right. By the looks of it, it looks like you eat a lot of Zorios. <laughs> Deep fried Zorios, perhaps. We're getting back to grade school with that one. You have a girlfriend right now? No. No. No, I wasn't kidding. I was genuinely asking. Sometimes people <laughs> like you can, believe it or not, find other people also shaped like you, and you guys <laughs> normally hang out for as long as you possibly can with each other until your inner hate makes you realize that you need to change for the best. And it actually will help you get in shape because you would hate your girlfriend so much. And then she would be stuck being fat, and you'd get your life together like Jared from Subway, and then you'd leave her. Perhaps I'm foreshadowing, who knows? Maybe I'm just being an asshole. Uh, when's the last time you hooked up with a girl? Uh, when's the last time you chicken fingered a girl? Wait, what? <laughs> When was the last time a girl lumberjacked you off? <laughs> you mean lumberjacked it into him off? Wow, everybody stop clapping when Joel took his shirt off. It's like the reverse Hulk Hogan effect. Well, 
We have Dolph's big boy on stage right now. I'm not gonna chill. Why do you look like Andy Kaufman at the end of Man on the Moon? <laughs> you really wanna know? <laughs> Sleep with Lyme disease. <laughs> Wait, what Speaking of full size babies. <laughs> I like oh, how do I look that young? <laughs> I like how your nipples match your eye or eyebrows. Like, that same color. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> those are some big nipples, though. Yeah. Are, those, are those corn or flour? <laughs> Actually, they're pesos. <laughs> You watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Thomas, so, uh, Thomas, do you have any fun hobbies or anything like that? You, uh, you ever uh, rollerblade to the kitchen or anything? Like, uh, I bike to Burger King about twice a day. That's about it. Wait, say that again. Say I bike to Burger King about twice a day. You bicycle? Yeah, I bike. Yeah, you I bicycle. bicycle to Burger King twice a day? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's clear that he works it all off in the ride. Yeah. Yeah. The only guy that's not a bike can gain 10 pounds. Right? Did you eat the bicycle? <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you immigrated from Cuba, why did you decide to keep the tire around your waist? <laughs> Bicycle, or is it like a two-person bicycle that you just use yourself? It's a road bike. It's a road bike. It's a bike. regular road bike, a mountain bike? No, not a mountain bike. It's a mountain dew bike. <laughs> a red bro. And you really you really go to Burger King twice a day? No, no, just Oh. Jeez. Oh, I mean, I don't know what, you, you might as well just have uh, said yes because it was very believable times. <laughs> All right, well, when, uh, did I get an answer when the last time you hooked up with a girl is? You ever, uh... uh Valentine's Day, yeah. Wow, oh. hell yeah. She must have yes. given you chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> so well, hot and heavy, baby. <laughs> baby! Uh, hot and heavy. So, uh, what happened on Valentine's Day? Who was this chick? I bet you she refers to it as the Valentine's Day Massacre. <laughs> There were chocolates, but that's because we went ass to mouth afterwards. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got uh, lights started going on. Yeah. Um, I got a question. Well, I heard guys getting in on this. He's like, this is perfect. Strobe lights now. Uh, ass to mouth it. reference. I've been waiting all night for this. After, after you went ass to mouth, mouth. Uh, <laughs> ass to mouth. Ass to, I'm taking you up. What did her dick taste like? <laughs> ass to mouth. <laughs> it's a Cuban thing. Yeah, okay. It's a Cuban thing. It's a Cuban thing. Mouth. Mouth. All right. Mouth. So, uh, mouth. Mouth. What happened on Valentine's Day? Who was that? Who uh, was it? Names. <laughs> not, no. <laughs> not names. Uh, you met her on plenty no, of plenty of I, plenty I, of I met her, stuff, no, huh? I actually met her at a previous job. Uh, oh yeah, what was yeah, the previous the, job? The, the one of the ones in my set. Um, oh and, shit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, she just got in the psych ward, and she was like, "Hey, I'm stable now." I was like, okay. <laughs> "Wait, we have to remember your set to think of which job it was." Her, you, where'd you hook up with her? Yeah, right? where? Uh, her place. Wow, her place. Do you remember anything specific that was like on the walls or anything like that? I'm sure, like, yeah, this is crazy. in between the bed and the wall, I found like her daughter's toys. It was the strongest. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you mean, like a bunch of dildos? Uh, you got a Hitachi in the group? <laughs> Okie dokie, guys. Uh, yeah, well, there you go, Thomas. Congratulations, fun time. Thanks for coming on the show. Hey, it's Thomas Zoya. Hey, Thomas, Thomas was the funniest person here tonight. The funniest comedic energy. He had the most comedic energy. I the agree. back of his neck was funny. Yeah. The way, the way that, the, his glasses sat on his face was funny. The back his of his neck. His lumberjack shirt was funny. I like that he said yeah. he biked to Burger King twice. Yeah. I like that it was a lie, too. Yeah. Uh, so he's the funniest. So all these other motherfuckers aren't funny. The back of his neck looked like Bart Simpson's mouth. There you go. 
Looks like lips. Looks like old Simpson's lips. He definitely won the sweating contest. Undisputed. All right, this looks like an interesting name. Put your hands together for Ashwin Namblia. <laughs> by aliens, so at least your anus will be probed. <laughs> My last girlfriend, though, was a real prize. Among her many fine qualities, she was addicted to prescription opioids, so I used to affectionately call her my little oxymoron. <laughs> I've paid for three abortions so far, so no one can ever accuse me of being a deadbeat dad. <laughs> I take care of my kids. When a woman's hair color is of suspicious origin, men often ask themselves, I wonder if the carpet matches the drapes. Personally, I don't care for carpet on a woman. I much prefer a nice hardwood floor. The most I can tolerate is a very small area rug. I think it's strange though, the men never ask themselves, I wonder if the wallpaper matches the drapes. The wallpaper, of course, is armpit hair. I want something <laughs> least like a baby out of everybody that's been here tonight. Uh, Jonathan, welcome to the show. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to have the uh, Sheriff Joe Arpoio here uh, <laughs> signing up for Kill Tony. Hopefully you don't make us wear pink underwear after this. Uh, I, I don't know what it is about you. You look like you voted for Trump twice somehow. Um, I actually do a lot of jokes about assassinating Trump. Oh really? Wow, that's good. Oh, yeah, that puts you on. That puts you on a list. <laughs> yeah. I got you in trouble. Over it. Yeah, oh really? Oh. How'd you get in trouble? It's a long story. Is it really? Mother got very angry with me. <laughs> Tonight has something. Oh, forget it. I was gonna say something awesome in their left pocket, <laughs> but you took it out right when I started talking about it. Nothing awesome. Wow. Uh, that's interesting. What did, your right what, pocket is on the left side of your pants. That's amazing. What did what'd you get in trouble for? What what was the the Trump shit? You said it's a long story. An audience member uh, threatened to call the th Secret Service on me. Oh, okay. And you believe them? Like, That's you don't so know how you call it Secret Service, it's right? A, there's not even a way to get the number. See, Would anybody here tonight do that? We're, we can all hear this, right? Nobody's calling the Secret yeah, Service. Yeah, we're not going to call the Secret Service. Show. Hey Siri, call the Secret Service. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa. What's the joke, Jonathan? Let's hear it. We have a possible suspect in pursuit right now. <laughs> Stay in the pocket, Jonathan. Literally. <laughs> I mean, those are some big pockets you can stay in that. I want to wish a very happy 12th birthday to first child, Baron Trump. I gotta admit, though, the day your dad's assassinated will be the happiest day of my life. Is that wrong? Well, to paraphrase R&B legend Luther Ingram, if wishing President Trump dead is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Wow, is this the last word with Keith Olbermann? Like, what is this? Is this, like how you wrap up? is this how you wrap up your weekly show? Here's some final thoughts. And a being that is wrong, and I don't want to be right. We'll see you next week.
Tommy girl, my guess would be Dorothy Blanchett with a book that, like, what the fuck is that? Are you on public access or something like that? You have your own show? If so, what, what would it be my called? My political material isn't always successful. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what do you do for work, Jonathan? You seem like you're a nice guy at the gun range, right? I do have kind of a psychopathic stage persona. And eyes and the way you talk and stand and feel and smile. But other than that, it's pretty much like totally calm and comforting. You look like you took all the acid your jeans were supposed to be washed with. <laughs> Jonathan, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, just over three years with no success. Well, I mean, jeez, uh, no Well, the Secret Service has heard about you. <laughs> I think the old Navy has. Yeah, you're the, uh, you're, the you're one of the, uh, what do you do for work? I recently left the job of over 10 years and I'm getting Left back. my job in the city. All right, I don't think that's where he's getting at. Oh, I'm, what? Subs I'm subsisting on rental income now. Uh, what were you doing uh, for over 10 years? I was, uh, oh wait, I know, your brother, the Durst, owns the World Trade Center in New York, and uh... My brother died as a baby, so you're wrong. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so take that! Looks like I'm a big take loser that. on this one. Uh, my I name, don't my understand. Name is dead. Why didn't you open with that? <laughs> I should have. How did, your, uh, how did your brother die as a baby? He tried to play with you in the bathtub? <laughs> I don't know, he never left the hospital. He died at like three days old. Uh, really? Fuck, wow. what a pussy. You know, let's, like, find, let's find some... <laughs> Jesus, three yeah, fucking yeah, days. He, I mean, was he like, crying the whole time? Yeah, it's like, grow a set of balls, dude. Literally, bro. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know how you were able to get the sound effects drunk as well, but uh, just pouring shit on your iPad. The human things don't work. Uh, so Jonathan, this is very interesting. What, so you did that for over 10 years, and now you're doing rental assistance. What does that mean? Not rental assistance. I, I own some property and collect income. Wow, you own He's property. a slumlord. Yeah, is this true? A millionaire! Airbnb, right? No, it's commercial property. Ah, commercial like property. Kinkos, huh? Are you just gonna keep guessing until you no, guess that's what it is. I can tell he's a Kinkos guy. It's definitely not. Uh, Making copies. Wow, are you referencing bad SNL sketches from the 80s right now? No, no it wasn't. <laughs> Making copies is that old Rob no, Schneider. No, that's what Kinko's does. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I mean, I know Kinko's <laughs> has copy machines. All right. Fight! Fight! Right. Yeah. Fight! Fight! Yeah. Fight! Fight! Yeah, Fight! Yeah. Very Fight. good. Classy as always. <laughs> you know, when he's angry, he puts both hands in his pockets. <laughs> oh, shit. I've got two Jonathan, what, uh, let me ask you this. This is one of my favorite questions to ask people. Don't hesitate. Just let it out right when I ask it. Don't overthink it, okay? Least favorite race. My least favorite race is the Indy 500. Like, why so many laps? I myself am a tight. Wait, say that again. I myself am a tight. Oh, I see. Okay, well that makes it uh, that makes it better. Let's all fly a kite. I knew you were Jewish, Jonathan. You rent out commercial real estate. What's your favorite kind of bagel? Uh, everything. Yeah. 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 A young one. He looks like he has x-ray vision, but only for children. Hey, by Jonathan, the way, what's the youngest uh, girl you ever look, hooked up with? 18? 15 when I was 16. Uh, <laughs> I'm calling the Secret Service. <laughs> I don't think the rest of the statutory. You single now? Um, I consider myself single. Wow, what does your wife call it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not married. Mother yeah. says we will live together forever. <laughs>
gonna go to Copperhead Blues after this. I feel like he's going to the Lucky Strike for some reason. You know what I mean? The stand around the grab and go machines just on the other side of the glass. Oh, what are you trying to win? He's got a shirt that would be a hit over at Gypsy Bar. Uh, this looks like Whatever a, that is. a different uh, version of Jonathan Gerber. Let's go with Jesse Guerrero. Come inside. <laughs> Just eating a blind person's booty like groceries. <laughs> I was walking down the street the other day and I saw this one eyed person with an eye patch, and I was like, What does that shirt say that he's wearing? And he had written on there hashtag all eyes matter. <laughs> Fuck yeah, there he is. or something like that. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to ask James. It's hard to ask James with sleep apnea. Also, it's funny you brought up Eric Garner because it looks like you can't breathe. Tony. Yes, Jeremiah Watkins. Yeah, he looks more like Don Burger King to me. <laughs> Yeah, you look like Speedwalk the Jewels. Cause you can't, cause you can't run the jewels, Brian. That's right. Hey, hey, this guy looks like the weekend for a whole month. <laughs> tattoo on his right arm and an NWA tattoo on the other side. Just wanted to throw that out there. I fucking like Yeah, he this explores side. both sides of every... Uh... Oh, that was Brian. I thought somebody just walked up here. I thought that guy from the audience <laughs> All right, wants to do five seconds. Uh, so, Jesse, uh, what do you do for work? Uh, nothing right now. Really? Yeah. How do you survive? My parents. <laughs> wow, and you would still kill your dad? What if he hears that joke? Oh, well, he's gonna hear it, but uh, he'll probably be pretty upset. Wow. Mm -hmm. What do they do? What do your parents do? My dad's a truck driver and mom works at Walmart. Your mom works at Walmart? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, and how old are you? 26. 26, and you're still living with them? A truck driver, oh. a lady that works at Walmart? <laughs> Jesse, what the fuck are we doing over here? I just, I just moved back from North Dakota. I lived out there for five years. Wow, there's one fan of North Dakota. <laughs> you like to just like hover around between states that don't have a lot of black people? Well, 
I moved out there when I was 20, stuck in a car with my buddy for three months to work. Yeah. There's no job. And then you went there and everybody was like, get out! <laughs> yeah, there's no jobs in California. That's all I'm bringing this home, so. There's no jobs in California, no. the third largest economy in the world. <laughs> Okie dokie. Pretty positive that there is. I live there. I live the fuck out of there, and I know there is. But sure, whatever your parents need to believe. We're at the point of the show where it's the part where Brian thinks peeing into the microphone in the bathroom is funny, by the way. For those of you that didn't catch it, that was Brian peeing into a toilet. Pretty good. I like that. Now, Jesse, let's get into it. The last job you had, what was it? I was a taxi driver. When was that? About a month ago. You were a taxi driver? Yeah, in North Dakota. I got an um, 18 year old girl ran a red light and totaled my uh, taxi, so I wow. said, fuck it, I'll move back to my parents. Wow. <laughs> By the looks of you, I figured you love T Bones. <laughs> Eighteen-year-old girl hit you. Uh, what was that like? What was that crash like? That scare you? Did you have passengers at the time? No, I didn't have any passengers. Tony, I'm an airbag. <laughs> <laughs> I was on my way to Motel Six to pick up this. Uh, in North Dakota, you would send the homeless people around town for vouchers. So uh -huh. I was on my way to pick one up, and uh, the girl ran a red light and hit me. Damn. Don't look, it's fine, don't look, don't look. Brian's Jesus. got a drinking problem. Red yeah. When I do this, oh, that's not going to open it. Thanks. It's okay, it was just the recorder. That was actually a stunt drink anyway, so I have another one coming to me. Another one? Uh, I'd like another one if anybody's listening. Okay. Uh, if anyone listening to this podcast wants to come down and get me a drink. It's okay, it'll really just, it'll just clean itself at this point. Uh, so Jesse, why is your name Jesse Guerrero? I think uh, you look like you'd have a cooler name than Jesse Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. I, I, you're, you have a point there, but are you, are you really a Guerrero? Yeah, my dad's Mexican. Really? Yeah, he was born in Tijuana. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Was he born from a hooker? Or? I love this guy. No, was, I love everything he said, actually. It's cheaper to have kids in the 70s. In Mexico, so his mom went and did that. It's cheaper right now to have kids in Mexico. <laughs> you can get two for one. Oh, no. uh, so Jesse, what do you do for fun? What do you, what do you like your hobbies other than, uh, you know, eating food and chilling? <laughs> I like sports a lot, you know. Yeah? Everything except golf. Everything except golf. Uh, why do you not like golf? It's the walking that they do. It's, it's the money part. I'm not rich, so I can't play it. So. You right. look like you love chocolate cake that's rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Come on, What Joe. else? Other than, that, other than sports, anything that you ever go do for fun or like that you're into? Um, sports and laughing, that's all I care about. Sports and laughing. That's you play video games? Care about. Uh, you hate video games? That's impossible. No, that's not impossible. That makes sense. When your when your fingers can't hit the one button at once. You're right. Yeah. Can't even touch this guy. I'm 26. Yeah. No, this guy. This guy. Yeah, he's grown this guy, up, Brian. This is the type of guy that uses an Xbox for a lunchbox. If you know. What I'm for a guy who may have a Halo soon. Dick is bruised as normal. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, Jeremiah. What Shout out to me, No, no, no. What, what or poor underwear? I gotta hear what the top young rising comedian's underwear is. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Me undies. Oh, me undies all the way. They oh, really are. The me undies. They really are. Can you confirm that? Look, they really are. Oh my god, they actually are meundies.com. Me I, 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 I used my four hymns today. I, I checked in with ZipRecruiter, looking for some new <laughs> hires. 
Uh, you got uh, my blue apron made it on the way here. Did I took a nap on the Casper mattress. Did you start a new website on Squarespace? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Hey, have you had generic Viagra yet? All right. Yeah. Moving along. Uh, Jesse. Like, I mean, is there anything that you're afraid of that you think would surprise us that a big, cozy-looking guy like you, you know, a guy that seems like he would keep people safe, like, is there something that scares you in which we'd be like, oh, fuck, Jesse's afraid of this? We're fucked. Uh, I'm afraid to eat expired food. What is that? I'm afraid to eat expired food. Spider food? It's expired food. Expired, expired food. I'm with you on that one. Hell yeah. Right. Uh, off at me. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's true, because sometimes they're just telling you the sell by date. Yeah, your greatest fears are often conquered by uh, just reading a thing on the side of the packaging. <laughs> I wanted to tip her, but she got away too fast. I gotta keep it. I'll take it. Maybe I could buy some new underwear. <laughs> Jesse. <Whoa>. Uh, <laughs> How long do you say you've been doing stand up again? Second time ever on stage. Second time ever, but the first How? time I did it two, uh, two years ago in Montana. Why so much space in between? Montana. There's no stand up scene in no, Montana. No, Montana. There's a no stand up scene. How are you here. still alive in No, in North Dakota. I've been in North oh. Dakota for the last five years. How long have you been here? This is my third week here. Third week here, and now you're back, and you uh, Is this something that you're going to keep doing here in Phoenix? Yeah, this is. I'm telling you, I really think you should, man. Yeah. I think, uh, especially, uh, you know, clearly you have a look and a look. <laughs> Up here. And on top of all that, you know, you look like a W. Kumail Liberty Bell. Yeah, he's like a uh, Chris Cross. Yeah, there's nothing else to take off, man. Don't do it. Oh, there it is. There he goes, Jesse Guerrero. Yay, Jesse! What do you guys think? One more? One last one. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. Let's see what happens. Uh, guy. One word. Guy. Sorry about that. My name's Guy. Uh, super easy to remember. People call me uh, Guy Sensei. Shout out to Naruto fans. Let's uh, let's talk about my face. Y'all are thinking about it. I'm thinking about y'all not thinking about it. My gauges. My uh, my plugs. Most people would call it. Two questions I get almost on a daily basis. No, you can't put your dick in them. And two. <laughs> two. You might not be able to, sir. I, I would I would challenge you to prove it. Two, um, no, they don't hurt. These, uh, these get, <laughs> get asked uh, almost every single day that <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> these get asked all the time. Um, the easiest response, again, is no, don't put your dick in them. And two, they do not hurt. The reason why my face looks like this is it's kind of like the, the Jesus Christ, the manifestation of bad decisions. <laughs> There you go, one minute with Guy. Yikes, I think this is the bombing everybody was waiting for. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, you look like the guy that uh, the uh, overhead speaker won't work for at a Trader Joe's. Clean up in that. Clean up in that. Oh shit, sorry. Clean up in that. You gotta admit, he fanny packed in a lot of material. It's sad. Uh, it is true. And he has quite the ear for talent. Um, I didn't know how to gauge that type of person. So, now, oh, 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 no, oh, thank you! Oh, that is a weird guy. Charles. I just had a question. Yes, Joel has a question? Well, I guess 
said something about a dick fitting through his ear holes. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Dude, but would you let him though? <laughs> <laughs> I met Joelberg. Not Joel the man's, but Joelberg, yeah. Wait, 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 wait a second. You said that guys can't fit the thing through your... No, you, you're not allowed to. I'm sure you could. You wouldn't even let Joelberg do it? No, Joel let like him do it. <laughs> replay your 60 second set and uh, that would be bad but if you do this i guarantee you you're gonna get a fucking and it'll end the show everybody goes home happy it'll be a standing ovation this guy comes to kick you touch Jeremiah's ear before Joel, who, who is a name, he doesn't even have the intention to touch in your ear. You have an inner protector. You have the, you have the, you have the condom on the inner ear. Yes, Joel. I, I, I 100% need consent on video. Because I'm not going to, I need to Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Hey, go look into Alexa and tell that bitch that. Like, she's right there. I'll, I'll let this guy do it. If he gives me consent, I'll do it 100%. But I need 100% consent. Hey, Joel. You got 100% permission right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty sure Jeremiah's always wanted you to put your dick in his ear. And, uh, <laughs> and I've always wanted to. <laughs> All right. And when so, they're done doing right. that, and when they're done doing that, I'm going to smoke your shirt. We guy, guy. Oh. guy. All right, guy. Guy, I need you to focus for a second. Guy, focused, what's I'm the most exciting thing out. that's ever happened to you in your entire life? Like the Bes highlight of your life? this? Um... Let's see, I survived a car crash eight months ago. You survived, so a car crash was the second best thing that's ever happened to you in your life. Yes. Let me tell you something, guy. Right now, you're gonna look back on this moment for the rest of your life, and most of the time, your grandkids aren't gonna be next to you. And all those times, you're gonna be like, fuck yeah, close the show, Phoenix, the first ever Phil Tony and Phoenix. <laughs> Away, you don't have to worry about it. You're wearing a fanny pack. You're not gonna have babies for a long time. That's true. That's true. So, what do you say, guy? Are we gonna give Joel consent and get the fuck out of here? Or am I gonna? <laughs> I, 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 I don't want peer pressure. 
sure. I need to know he consents on his own. I, I won't by the way, zero cell phones, by the way, you goddamn animals. I know you're all waiting to become fucking YouTube stars. It's, like on, it's streaming right now. <laughs> no, I know it's, it's streaming. You know what? You know what? Maybe, it's, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe I touch Jeremiah's ear and then we let this guy go. Wait, what? No. <laughs> oh, just, okay, so dude, let's do dude, it. Let's fuck this guy's ear, dude. <laughs> You're what right, the fuck, right. Joe? Put you're your right. clothes on, dude. What the fuck we have to guys, say? Guys, guys, what else do we have to do to make you more comfortable to want to do this? I mean, I've really not been more comfortable. I just, I really wish that I could have bombed and you could have asked me, like, what you I did. did. You did, you did. You did. I was expecting the bombing to happen. No, 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 no. Guy, yeah, you bombed so fucking bad it was incredible. This is my <laughs> advice. My advice to you is start putting dicks through your ears. <laughs> I mean, I'm giving you everything you want. You wanted advice, you wanted a chance, I give you the opportunity, it's a live show, there's gonna be people. And one day you're gonna get tweets and Instagrams, and it's either gonna be, you fucking loser, <laughs> or it's gonna be, wow, guy, I fucking hated you until you let Joe put his dick through your ear. <laughs> Is there anybody else with plugs that will let me do it? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure just just look the nice. other way, dude. Hey, it's what are you doing? Why do we want to see this? Am I the only one that doesn't want to see it right now? Right, 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 right. I don't want to see it, but I want it to happen. No! Alright, stop again. I'm doing a complete shutdown. What is what is holding you back right now, guy? I mean, you're, 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 you don't you don't want the to... size, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nothing really holding me back besides the, the come on, let him shove his little up. Uh, let him shove his little up. Uh, whoa, 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 watch the word little, Tony. I'm not right. even Jesus. <laughs> All right, uh, what's stopping you? I mean, besides like physical penetration to my my face. Literal penetration to my face. I just feel like it's that not your face. It's your earlobe. It's, it's a hole face. near your face. He's gonna be That's putting it through. Face, He's right? putting his dick in the air. In the the air in the hole. Dude, can I just put one ball through? Just yeah, one just ball. a ball. Can I? <laughs> what can we negotiate here, guy? Can he at least like teabag your fanny pack or something? All right. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't want to so negotiate. I'll suck Jober's dick. <laughs> I mean, then would you let him do it? If the sock, if the sock fully goes inside of Jeremiah's mouth, it can go through my ear. It's penetration for penetration. Dude, honestly, honestly, I would consider it if he just hadn't worn that sock on his foot. <laughs> Stuff, bro. <laughs> Does anyone have a clean sock? That is the, uh, that is the, uh... uh nobody has a clean sock here. It's Phoenix. It's hot. <laughs> They're all stinky. Get the this sock, it's not even gonna fit through there, right? No. I'll touch it. <laughs> I don't even want to do this anymore. This got weird. Yeah, it I'm did. sorry, man. It's just not every day people it actually did. act on the fact that no, you're the one that brought the guy. You first of all, started it. Yeah. I said that people would ask you that. Hey, people actually try and come fuck me. Oh, he's got a great tactic. He's got a sock on his leg. So he's got a suit on. For those of you listening to the podcast, we said a clean sock. This is the dirtiest. Sort of Muppet Babies up here, like, people throwing stuff at the comedians. If Guy doesn't do this, his entire career, people are Jeremiah, just throwing socks at him. Jeremiah is gagging and not at on Joel's dick, and it's yeah. really depressing. Wow. Yeah, I don't need this. This is the Louis situation. I don't need this. Let's move on. I'm sorry I got naked. No, Let's go. Louis does not get 
get permission. Uh, I'm gonna take this shit. Neither did I. Uh, Guy, you are officially pussy of the night. There's a body in my pussy. Something great. JC Penney's getting Aww. somewhere fancy. We're still from Coles. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, like a goddamn American. Uh, I love it, Reese. Well, we're just gonna keep uh, moving on with the show. Thank that was, uh, we just wanted to get someone else up here. Anything crazy? You have any, uh, anything, any crazy things about you? Like, you ever do anything nuts? Like, you ever, like, uh, kill a sibling or anything? Like no, not <laughs> crazy, bro. You ever rollerblade over somebody's categories game or something like that? No, nothing, man. The guy before you could have done something nuts, he chose not to. You ever put a uh, fart in a cup and put it in a cat's face just to look at its reaction? <laughs> oh, right, don't you? What's, the weird, cat? what's the weirdest thing you've ever done? Fuck, man. I don't know. I can't even think of anything right now. I got nothing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm normal. Hey, hey, yeah, there there must be show. something a little bit off about you. Come on. Your mom's never like, you fucking chew with your mouth open. Eho uh, or something like that. Eho. Uh, how do I smoke weed so bad? Jesus, Brian, we are still on the air. Uh, <laughs> was just giving up. Uh, so, Reese, anything? I mean, anything interesting about you? How many siblings do you have? I got one little brother. Wow. Yeah. I thought you were Mexican. Uh, <laughs> me too. How old's your little brother? He's going to be 17. Wow. He's okay, going to... Mexican. All right, cool. He's still going to high school? Yeah. What do you think about uh, how Joel's representing uh, the Latino race right now? How does he look over there to you? Uh, it's holding up, I guess. That's right. Hey, watch your, hey, watch your fucking mouth, eh? <laughs> look at that fucking body. It looks like Bill, Bill Burrito. Dude, I had Chile I know I'm fucking enchiladas today, all right? I'm ready. <laughs> Luis C. Quesadilla. Luis Muniz. All right, Reese. I mean, you seem like uh, you seem like sort of a tough guy. I get the vibe from you that like you're cool and happy here, but like you live like a double life. Like you're sort of you hang out with like a tough gang of people at night, like on Fridays and Saturdays. It's that mustache. You guys get like a booth. You guys get like a booth at the club with a bottle of orange juice or whatever. Nah, man, I go solo. You go solo to the club? Yeah, yeah sometimes. Really? 
And uh, how does that work out for you? You just leave with the ladies? You just go up to people that are there on dates like, yo, you're with me now, baby. Yeah, yeah, he, he looks like the coolest team leader at Target. <laughs> he goes to parties and his shirt matches the cups. <laughs> Do you have any special sex moves that you do in the bedroom? Something with like your tongue when you're going down on a girl or something like that? Anything crazy like fucking the Latino heat or uh, you know? I put my dick in their ear, Tony. Oh, very good, Joel Berg. Uh, how about you, Reese? Uh, you know, we just don't pull out as Mexicans. So. Whoa! It's called a tres leches. There he goes, Reese Muniz. Let's kill Tony Diaz. There's a bottle in my kitchen. We have some food. Let's go eat one more time. There's a bottle in my kitchen. That was so much fun. Doug Benson. Uh, thank you so much for being a guest. Thanks tonight. for having me. Thank you, Phoenix. You guys are awesome. Doug's gonna be hanging out uh, a little bit of this weekend, maybe. If you yeah, want, uh, I'll come by. Hey, let's go. Let's smoke a bunch of weed together, come guys. See, we'll yeah. 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 We'll come see Tony. Uh, you know, all weekend long, Friday, Tempe, Saturday, Sunday. And the Tempe Improv, running my brand new uh, Phoenix Never Seen Before Hour uh, that I've been building since my last time here. And it's going to be uh, guest spots from everybody that you see. Uh, and uh, maybe even the late shows, if, if, if you want to jump in, Doug, or like hang out or do anything, really. I mean, whatever you want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's an open invite. I wouldn't call it, uh, you know, a, an ad, a guaranteed advertisement that will be there. Maybe you'll be uh, treated to a surprise. I got some new material. I got this bit about how my kid's a pussy and cries all the time. <laughs> Those of you listening to the podcast, we have our five-year anniversary at the Comedy yeah. Store on yeah. Five years! Woo! I mean, hey, I'll tell you this, it's not that hard of a drive, you Phoenix fucks. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you if you guys are really like uh, yeah, short flight two, you uh, fucking smug bitch. <laughs> it's a flight for you. We get a Mr. Reserve table in the front. Oh, he's he's doing that that thing where you do like all of these, we have, all, we have very much working class fans. Not all of our fans are lucky enough to be, you know, a part-time cardiologist like you, sir. Uh, there they are. The Kill Tony band made it. They made the drive. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins, Patty Reagan, and Gilbert Jovenez. Jeremiah? Uh, I've got a new podcast called Jeremiah Wonders. Uh, check that out. Tate Fletcher is a guest this week. Joel Jimenez is the guest on Monday. Uh, and uh, we drove here uh, to Phoenix from Los Angeles. So uh, we've got a bunch of uh, Reagan Watkins merch. I've got CDs and uh, inflatable saxophones that will be out front. Uh, we're doing donations uh, only on everything, whatever you guys can do to help out, because Pat and I are recording our debut Reagan Watkins album yeah. next weekend. So studio time is super expensive, so whatever you guys can do, that'd be awesome. Patty Reagan, anything you want to uh, plug this week? Yeah, I just want to say, uh, I just want to uh, tell everybody I'm leaving the podcast uh, starting Monday, and um, I just, it's, it's a, it's, uh, I just, I wanted to work on my own projects, yeah. and uh, it's not, I'm not getting fired, I want to clear up any air there, um, but I may be back, and you guys are, you guys are, you guys are, uh, you guys are my family, and uh, I love you guys. Absolutely, and we always have, so, man, thank you so much. Why. Thanks to all the Tony fans. Pat will still be doing, uh, Pat, Pat will still be doing, uh, for those of you that are, by the way, congratulations to you, Phoenix, for getting that breaking news. I wasn't even going to break that news yeah. tonight. That's breaking news for you. Yeah. Uh, but Pat will still be doing audience load in and crowd warm up and that cool part that, uh, you know, is part, doing part my of my favorite part. Yeah, part of the, the pre-show, which is always fun because it sets a tone and that's a fun tradition that we've always held on to. And uh, Jeremiah and Joel and I believe Chroma Chris are still going to play. And uh, so, there, yes, you are the first audience to hear that there's going to be a remodeled band come Monday live at the Comedy Store with the Scalar Brothers. That's our there's a body in my Okay, that's too loud, Brian. I mean, I guess we've just lost all semblances. I love you guys. Can we get a round of applause in here? So yeah. Great yeah. Friday, Reagan. He's been with us for like two years. So I might be back.
Shooting about to uh, begin at any moment. It's a bigger, many more deaths are probably gonna be. Allie McBeal is like, Where's my drum? Uh, drumming baby, <laughs> dancing baby. I fucked that one up. No, it's good. I liked it. Thanks. And uh, so, yeah, five stand up shows this weekend. I am absolutely yeah. trapped here in Arizona yeah. for the next uh, three days. We have a big Airbnb and uh, we're going to uh, be here. Yeah. So, come see shows at the Tempe Improv. You get to see all of us doing stand-up, not Kill Tony's. A lot of stuff that we've worked very, very hard on. A lot of people are saying that uh, this could be Tony Hinchcliffe's breakthrough special. And there I could say Brian is uh, getting a lot of weight. Yes. Uh, Phoenix, we're all gonna hang out. Let's all get drunk and smoke and have a fun Thursday together. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. 